Hello. In this video we will progress on from the sketch detail and start drawing the detail up in AutoCAD. Within AutoCAD the first thing we need to do is create a new drawing and save it. In this case I have named the file details and then we can go to the layer properties manager and create some layers. So I'll create one first of all and call it concrete and then you need to create some other layers. At this stage now we have nine layers one of which is layer zero and that's the current layer so let's change that to concrete as the current layer and notice that there are different colors applied to the, uh, the, the layers. In some instances you may wish to change the line weights but because we're, we're just going to use a a normal print plot style setting. Uh, we're just going to leave those line weights as default and change some of the line weights at a later stage. So we can close out of that now and start to draw the detail with the concrete layer as the current layer. And let's draw the foundation. So let's make it 600 by 250 and that helps us to get a sense of the scale or size of the, the detail. So let's move it up from the, the UCS out of the way and then go to the block work layer and we'll draw a line on that layer in by 150 millimeters. Let's make the line long enough and then we can offset that by 300 millimeters. And at this stage then we should add in a break line so I'm going to go to the annotations layer and create a, a break line. Let's make it 100 millimeters up from the, the foundation so we can draw a polyline from this point over. There's the middle of the line so let's stop just short of that. Choose nearest. Put in something just to show us where the line is. And then we can trim off the block work at that point for now. What we also need to do is take a copy of that break line. Let's offset it slightly and just line up the endpoints there for neatness. And then we can copy the block work up above that point and use that for drawing the rest of the detail. So the reason for doing that is because we don't know how deep the foundations need to be and that's why the break lines are in there. You don't specify that distance. What we can now do is add in the cavity and I would advise that you draw things as detailed as possible. Uh, in the first instance I'm going to again offset a line by maybe 120 this time and that will allow us to add on the block work layer where the top of the block work is going to be in this case and offset them by a 10 millimeter mortar joint and I want a brick plinth on this side so I'm going to change over to brickwork, change that line to brickwork. It's not really going to show too much difference obviously. Um, I suppose it might be better just to go in and change that brickwork layer to a different colour. And then we can offset by 
65 millimeters. And then tan. And then copy that up. And on this side then we can copy up by 225. At this stage now I've added in a few more rows of bricks and blocks just to show the way that the wall continues. So the brickwork plinth is, is only at the bottom of the wall and we need uh, to add in the, the ground level for the outside. So let's make that just at this point here. And at this stage it would be useful to work out roughly what size this is going to look like on, on the page. So let's see if we can fit it onto an A4 page at 1 to 5. So I'm going to create a, a rectangle 210 by 297. And let's scale that by the order of 5. And move it over the detail. Okay, so we don't want to go much higher than that. Uh, indeed, the, the brake line might just need to be amended slightly there. So that's bring that in a bit. And what we can do is copy the brake line up to near the top of the wall and then trim off the lines above that. And what we can now do is decide where we want to put in some of the other elements. So at this stage, um, we would want to put some cavity fill in the, the bottom of the insulation. So let's make that at this point here. With a little bit of a slope, and that will allow us to add in a wheat pole uh, later. Let's just speed that up a little. Okay. And that's some of the basic things that we need to do so far. Uh, the next thing we will need to do is add in some of the elements relating to the floor. So firstly we'll choose the, the DPC layer and we'll draw a line mid between two points just here and we'll use that as the basis for the where the floor build up is going to be. Let's not take it right out to that line so let's stop it short so that we are not going right out to the edge of, of the page itself and at, at this stage we need to work out what um, elements there will be and what sizes they're going to be. So above the, the DPM there's going to be the insulation and then above that the screed. So for the insulation layer um, we'll offset by 5 millimeters, just so that we can see graphically what's actually going to happen here and we'll put that layer or that line on the insulation layer. And again, from the graphical point of view, we want to give a little gap there of 5 millimeters. Uh, so we'll choose the bottom of the insulation and just bring that line back. And it's going to be 125 millimeters thick, but again, just from the graphical representation point of view, we'll offset it by 120 because we've already offset that 5 millimeters. 
and then on top of that we're going to have uh, insulation but we want a, another 5mm gap just for the graphical point of view or 100mm sorry, screed um, so again we'll put that on the, the concrete layer and instead of being 100 millimeters, we'll we'll offset it at 95 just because of the gap there. So 95, okay, and that's tan roughly in with the the coursing of the block work, which is good. So let's go onto the concrete layer, just add in that line, and again here for the insulation, but we can put that in the crack layer and then below the DPM we're going to need uh, another layer of concrete and again that's going to be about 100 millimeters so we'll just copy this element down and we'll use that as a basis and try and move it down an extra 5 millimeters this might not last without clicking. No, let's just copy it and then move it. That's the easiest thing to do. Okay. And then we can copy and rotate the break line. So we have a good idea just what's happening here. And we'll make sure more of it is below the bottom of the detail because there's there's a couple of other elements just to go under the um the concrete there. Um twenty five millimeter sand and we'll just put that on the uh the mortar layer. We'll draw a line there. And match the properties. And then below that obviously would be your hardcore, your 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 layer of blinding. Um so we can extend the lines just out to the break line for clarity there. And this line here is just the outside ground level, so that maybe doesn't need to be quite so long. And that's the basis of the majority of the, the build up that we need in there. Another element we do need now is the, the DPC for the outside leaf and obviously what happens the the DPM here. So let's draw a line out from there five millimeters again. And what we can do is take the line up the side of the block work and then if we offset this line by five millimeters here um that will allow us to use the fillet tool to indicate where the DPM is going to be and again with that line we can match the properties just to the other two elements and we'll copy or let's just offset again by 5mm for the DPC and put that on the crack layer So the details are starting to take shape now. At this stage, just reviewing the detail, it would be worthwhile moving these elements down by 75 millimeters, otherwise it'll cause us a little bit of a problem with the, the insulation and so on. And another thing we can do at this stage is we can join uh, the DPM lines. So we can go to the Edit Polyline tool multiple again and select the three lines uh, convert them to lines join okay and then the other thing we'd like to do with that is create it as a dash line so that's load we'll just choose uh, that top one and then apply that line type 
the DPM and let's also apply it to the DPC. So that's probably enough for the, the first stage and in the next video then we can add in a few more elements and then try to finish off with line weights and hatching and things like that. Thanks for watching, please feel free to go on and watch the next video.